On July 23rd, the 2020 Major League Baseball season will begin almost four months later than it was originally scheduled. And instead of 162 games, all 30 teams will play 60 games, the fewest amount of games to complete a championship season since 1900. To limit travel, teams will play two-thirds of their schedule within the division and one-third in interleague games against the corresponding geographical division. So, for example, the defending champion Nationals will face the Yankees, Rays, Red Sox, Blue Jays, and prime rival Orioles. Some new rules are also in play for the 2020 campaign. For starters, the senior circuit will utilize the DH in every game this season, making it the first time since 1972 both the National and American League will play with the same rules. Another new rule for 2020 is that all extra innings will begin with a runner at second base to thwart the chances of marathon games in a shortened season of 60 games in 66 days. Those two rules are designed to help execute the compact schedule as efficiently as possible. Along those same lines, teams will have a 60-player pool to choose from throughout the season. Teams will submit 30-man rosters on opening day. Rosters will then be shortened to 28 by day 15 of the season and then to a final number of 26 players on the 29th day of the season. By that time, there'll still be about a week until the trade deadline. As for this season only, MLB has moved the trading deadline to August 31st, one month later than usual. Postseason eligibility will be determined by September 15th rosters. This will all get us to the 2020 postseason, which will be no different than it has been since 2012. Three division winners and two wild cards from each league, with the two wild cards playing in a one game playoff to advance to the division series. Lots to watch for indeed. Some of the changes may stick, some may be around as only one hit wonders for this season only. Either way, we're in for a fun, unique 2020 season.